Hey guys, today I'm going to show you uh, in this video how to draw the Lewis dot structure for the second of the first 10 alkanes, uh, ethane, which is C2H6. So here we go. Uh, we have ethane, so it's going to be uh, C2H6. And now this is going to give us uh, 2 times 4 valence electrons from the carbon plus 6 times 1 valence electron from each hydrogen. So the total number of uh, valence electrons in this molecule is going to be um, 14. Okay, and so next what we have to do is then um, now because it has 14 valence electrons now it's because this is, is this going to have two central atoms because it has the carbon, two carbons so we can't use the trick that I, I typically like to do also because it has hydrogen that, that won't work so let's go ahead and just start to draw, draw, to draw this thing out um, remember hydrogens cannot be center atoms because they can only bond once so the two carbons are going to have to be in the center and we can go ahead and attach, well let's just place the hydrogens first let's go ahead and put a hydrogen around each of the carbons like so so now there's two carbons and one, two, three, four, five, six hydrogens let's go ahead and connect everything with a single bond okay now Let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that right there is only seven. That's fourteen. Actually, that's exactly what we need. There's fourteen valence electrons here. And if you notice, each hydrogen has two electrons, and each carbon has eight, which is their full octet. So that should be the right structure. So let's go ahead and check the formal charges, just to be sure. So we can check of, of the carbon. And notice that the, the the setup on each carbon is the same. So the formal charges will also be equal. So remember, formal charge is the number of valence brought in, which is 4 for the carbon, 4 minus number of bonds, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus number of non-bonding electrons, which is 0, and that's going to give us a formal charge of 0, so that's good. Now we can check the formal charge on the hydrogens, and that is going to be the number of valence brought in, 1, minus the number of bonds for each one is just 1, minus the number of non-binding electrons, zero, that's also zero. So that's exactly what, what we're looking for. That's very good. Now, in terms of shape, this whole molecule, there's no name for just the entire shape because it has two central atoms, but, but you could look at each each of the like, individual cent central atom and tell the shape of that, but uh, we won't get into that today. But uh, if, you, if you want to look at the hybridization for this carbon as, as well as this one, there's one, two, three, four bonding sites for this one, and one, two, three, four bonding sites for this one. So both of these carbons have four bonding sites, so that's going to be sp3 hybrid. And just like most organic mo uh, compounds, this is also going to be non-polar, because all of the hydrogen's electronegativities are equal, so they will cancel each other out and the carbons are also equal since, they have to, since it's the same atom and they're, they're going to cancel each other out and then distribute the um, negative charge from the electrons equally across the entire uh, compound. Uh, if you have any questions let me know. If you want to see a specific uh, compound done just leave it in the comments or send me a message and thanks for watching.